Good Thursday morning. The star of the show is not here today. So oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, he is. Let's with this guy. Yeah, he is. Oh, that, that's your big moment? They, that's what, hey, not, do not. Hey, we're coming to me first. <laughs> Glory ain't here, and the whole program goes to hell in a handbasket right off the bat. That's what you built up for, that one big intro? Morning on Thursday? Yeah, well, I know I'm here. <laughs> Good morning, I'm Jamie Cooper. This is Athens in the AM on a live edition on a Thursday morning, fired up and ready to go. Brad Carnut joins. Hey, Fred. 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 Go ahead and have a seat Fred. over there. Joseph, mic him up. Go over and Come sit on. down over there. We call him Fred, we people that know him well. We learned that last week. On set one this morning, Dusty been up all night long. Danny filling in for glory this morning. He's, he's going to do weather for us in just a moment. Joseph, a late night, too, celebrating the birthday party. Brad, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you. Are you about ready for an election? Ready, yes, sir. All right. <laughs> He's going to tell us all about how y'all need to vote. Over on set two, join us for his first Thursday, Wade Oliver. Back up. Got his band with him this morning, Coach Jeff. They're going to back him up back this up morning. Back up singers. Clint Leg will be here just a little bit. I don't know what they're going to do, but it's going to be a good one. Speaking of good one, we had a great time last night at Lindsay Lane Baptist Church. There's about, I don't know, four or five people showed up with their kids, so we'll talk about that. Got some photographs. We'll go over that in just a little bit too but now let's get to the weather forecast and here he is performing his first ever he's been in the walking dead he's been everywhere he's in the birth of a nation hopefully he keeps his show going here he is now the legendary danny vinson with today's weather forecast it's all yours Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. Hey, Gloria, your cover is busted, man. I know why you answer all the questions now. You can see that. You can see everything Jamie's holding right here. So, I, we got you. Okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be nice. It's time to wash the car, folks, because evidently it's not going to rain for, uh, for another, what, 40 days and 40 nights? Is that how it goes? Except it's opposite that. Uh, 80s all, all the way through, little cloud here and there, and uh, about 50s, high 50s for the for the lows at night and uh, you're a regular bob baron man I know, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> weather in motion, uh, weather in motion. Yep, there you go. <laughs> and now back to the star of the show oh, uh, is that all you gonna say you no, that's it. Got, uh, hey i got to talk about dixie it's uh shanara water a sale going on down there tomorrow no. big sale y'all want to save 20 what Shandala. 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 I know what to say. That's, that's another brand they were selling down there. Tomorrow. Special <laughs> on it. Special on it. Uh, you know, right now, the Dixie, there ain't a whole lot of grass to be cutting. It's yep. all yep. burnt. Yep. Yep. It's done. Yep. Customer appreciation event going on one day only tomorrow. No better folks in the history of selling lawnmowers or anything than the guys down at Dixie. Up, uh, Frank. Yeah. Frank scrimps with us this morning. I look outside, see if he's peeing on some tires. But I guess right, he, he's saving himself up. Dusty was here today, so he said. Uh, he was out there when I pulled up. Maybe that's what he was up to. He's back in action. Yep. Dusty, you had a long day yesterday. Sure did. Long day. Good night, too. Had a great night last night, Lindsay and Lane. The weather, it was, tonight. it was what, 65 oh, it was degrees? <laughs> you couldn't order it up a better night last night. It was great. It was a big time. A lot of volunteers, too. Yeah, I had a lot of volunteers. I'm very proud of our staff and all the volunteers. It's, uh, it was over 4,000, I believe, last night. When I through. pulled up parking, of course, I had to say, I ain't parking down there in that field. I'm parking over here where I can walk. A guy, I thought he was shooting me a bird, but it was Wayne <laughs> White. He had his finger in him. Did you see him? He broke I his did. finger playing basketball. Oh, <laughs> playing basketball? Well, no wonder. He was dunking. And he, he, yeah, he was uh, But he had it in, he broke his finger, his little finger, though. He had to split. Oh, yeah. That's right. Sure right. He's moving. Too, hey, speaking of that, you missed it last night, Brad. You weren't down there with us, Lindsay. Let's talk about who was there last night. Let me see some photos. That's me in the middle. I was a dog last night, Coach Pugh. I was Rover. <laughs> Look at that. Rover. Rover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I like Rover. Up. Oh, that's me with the tongue. There you go. That's good. That's good. Yeah. I'm gonna, you know, I'm thinking about that's going to be my thing now. I'm going to start wearing like that every day. Jason. Uh, he says he'll come up on the show and sing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He can. Yeah. Sing. Coach. He can. Oh, sure yeah. He's there too. All right. Uh oh. The hot top man, that's me on the right. That's, that's, the right the gun. Yeah. Yeah. that's me dressed up like a dog. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I, yeah, that, it was a beautiful, I don't yeah. think Dusty you could have asked for a more no. beautiful uh, 
evening than last night. That's Sun right. It was gorgeous, boy. Oh, it was. And then, oh, Cody Gross. Saw him last night, too. They practiced yesterday morning at 6.30. Yeah, sure did. He missed an episode of Judge Steve. All right, Brad, that's enough pictures for right now. Woke up. Got to get Grayson in. He said, this is going to be on Facebook. Well, yeah, but he was security <laughs> last night. Security? I'll tell you what, my picture, I got to say, Glory did a great job paying me up. I really like the way that tongue hung out yeah, there. Well, good. It looks like a beat up Jason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now let's go to sports sponsored by KFC with Bama Zach. It's time for sports with Bama Zach. Brought to you by Kentucky Fried Chicken. The best fried chicken in Athens and Limestone County. Hey, go to KFC today if you need something to eat. If you're hungry, get you some good old chicken. If you're ailing, go see Roy and the gang of herbs and more. Hey, I got a quick thing to mention, Jamie. My friend Patty Era, they're having, they're trying to raise money for cystic fibrosis. Her nephew passed away a few years ago from that. So today, they're having a bake sale at the Sanders Street entrance of Athens Limestone Hospital starting at 7 o'clock. So you can give money and get you some treats and donate money to cystic fibrosis. So I know they appreciate that. Got games tonight, Jamie. Uh, Coach Pugh will be talking about his big game at Tanner. First time in 10 years that East and Tanner have played, so I know the majority of Limestone County will be out tonight seeing that. Uh, Athens will be playing Huntsville and also James Clemens. And then Friday night, some of the big games we got, we got Ardmore at West Limestone. You got St. Paul John the second at Clements. And you've got Spartman at Did you say St. John Paul the second? I can't do it. Saint Paul John Catholic. I always just say Catholic. <laughs> and then uh, Joseph will be on the call for Briarwood at Madison Academy. You can hear that at 7 o'clock on 97.7 The Zone. And you hear me on Tailgate Talk 10 to 12 WKC Saturday morning. Tailgate Talk? Is that the name of that show? Yes. Tailgate Talk. That's right. <laughs> what are y'all talking about this week? I don't know. Football. <laughs> <laughs> no we'll game for y'all. High school, college, we'll talk about whatever. We got to talk. Yeah, that's top secret, Brad. Can't talk about it. Like I said, in, uh, Tanner and West will be hosting playoff games. They don't know who they'll be playing, but they will be hosting Our show, Zach. playoff games. And last night, the Cubs evened up the series. 5-1 win over Cleveland. Now they'll be heading back to Chicago. That's all I got. Is that it? That's it. That's it. That's all of it. I see it. All of it. Yeah, Dusty, last night was a big crowd down there. Man, I, you had to be exhausted. You've been up since my time, 2.15 yesterday morning. Yeah, got up early yesterday. Had a big well, day. You got nothing to do today, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Follow up. Follow Ooh. up. Clean up. Big week. Is this one of the biggest weeks of the year at Lindsay Lane Baptist Church? It is this year because of GIC. We've got the Global Impact Celebration. All of our missionaries are here. Our host homes, our people are hosting them, and so we got activities for them. Love Loud's coming up Friday and Saturday. We'll go back out in the community. That's going to be a we'll talk great about time. That. Coming up here in just a little bit, where all we going to be? Yes, going to be uh, Henry yes, White. We'll talk more about that hey, a little bit. Guys. Right now, let's get some music. We usually don't have music. The only entertainment we usually have on Thursdays is Coach Jeff Pugh and Coach Clint Legg. They'll entertain <laughs> us in a little bit, but right now they'll be backing up legendary Wade Oliver from Penitentiary Mountain. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's exactly where he lives. You know where that is, Fred? Yeah. Uh, Penitentiary is, Mountain is, is in Lawrence County. Moulton. <laughs> Near Moulton. Ish. Let's go. Here comes another backup singer this morning. <laughs> Let's go local and loved it with Wade Oliver. Y'all hang on. Follow your heart and do what's right. True to the man 
inside Find a good woman and you'll find real love Never lose faith in the Lord above Always be ready with a helping hand If life like a simple man My life really <laughs> been the wrong track for every one step forward. I went two steps back. Stick my hand in a pot of gold, it would turn to a chunk of coal. That brought it to an end on a stormy night. I grabbed a roll wrapped around a pine. Walked away from that mangled truck, heard a voice from up above. So listen up, my troubled son. Change your ways before you come undone. Son, do these things and you'll be all right. Don't live your life by the dollar sign. Follow your heart and do what's right. Be true to the man inside. Find a good woman and you'll find real love. And never lose faith in the Lord above. And always be ready with a helping hand. Your life like a simple man. And now, Judge Jamie, Fred Knudge, favorite morning program. <laughs> Here's the way we play. If you remember Brad Knudge, wrong answer. Right answer. And over here is our new band, Wade Oliver and Oliverette. <laughs> penitentiary Mountain Boys. Yeah, it's called Penitentiary Mountain. Wade Oliver and Penitentiary Mountain plus Chickenfoot. <laughs> How, oh, only you would probably know the answer to this. Election's coming up, what, in two weeks? Yeah. Whatever. Yes. They say now Hillary's got, what, 12-point lead? That was I don't morning. know. That's what said this morning. Yeah. Yeah. How many voters are they anticipating to vote in the state of Alabama in the November 8th election? The whole Statewide. 1.5 million. Wrong. 500,000. I don't know the number. I hope it's 2.8 million. Two, two point oh, what? 2.3? I'll let you have it. 2.2 2. 2 to 2.4, so we'll go with that one. Two. All right, here we go. A little local story here. What city, town in North Alabama did away with their police department? North Cortland. Oh, uh, North, who said North Cortland? North Cortland is the right answer. <laughs> said they couldn't afford to pay them anymore. Huh. But the new mayor says he's going to hire them back when he takes office on November 7th. Fired the whole bunch. Said they can't afford them no more. They gotta have some sort of. USA Today this morning. Amazon. Any y'all get anything? Like I say, every time I walk out the door, yeah, trip over a box. Yeah. I'm a Gloria is an Amazon Prime member. <laughs> oh, preferred customer. Free shipping. <laughs> yeah, yeah, free shipping. <laughs> the one share of Amazon is expected to go up over the next. What is it expected to go to? A share of Amazon stock. Hundred dollars. Hundred dollars. You don't do, what? Thousand dollars is the correct answer. Amazon shares are going to a thousand dollars. But they're being sued for thirty something million. Well, right they, now, maybe we should buy right some. now, yeah. a share today, Sweet. Joseph, All Mr. Right. Wall Street, <laughs> is eight hundred and twenty-two dollars and fifty-nine cents a share. Well, if it goes to a thousand, you've already made two hundred bucks. It may yeah. split. Too. But who can afford eight hundred dollars a share? I can't. Huh? Maybe one Here's share. Here's what they did in third quarter. Net sales were how much? Net sales. Third quarter just ended. Thirteen billion. That's a good answer, but wrong. Thirty, 30 billion. Oh, let's have it, Greg. Thirty-one billion dollars. Now so Only good, you nah. know the next answer here uh -oh. about Volkswagen. Right. Only you know, know this answer right here. The government is a federal judge Tuesday authorized how much money to settle settlements over Volkswagen admitted scandal that affects that they rigged 11 million vehicles sought with software to dodge emission standards. 11 billion. Well, the 15 billion is the right answer. Wow. We're talking billions here, Pastor Hughes. Yeah, we are. Billion. That's mm -hmm. just a of my for the settlement. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Mm. 
Two of the most well-known brands in America are battling over how much their products suck. And that is the exact words I'm using here. Who are we talking about? Hoover vacuum cleaners and somebody. Um, it ain't Hoover, but that's, I'm going to let you have it because it's Dyson, Dyson vacuum Dyson. cleaners. There he is oh, right that's, there. That's pretty good. Shark Ninja is the one that they're battling. They do settle they just, twice the sucks in advertising claims. Twice. That's what they say. So they threw it out and said, uh-uh, y'all have to settle your own stuff right here. Hmm. All right, here we go. Uh, right now, Jim, who's the highest paid coach in America? Jim Harbaugh. Oh, Jim Harbaugh's right answer at seven million, possibly nine million dollars. He, he, he ain't worth as much as Nick Saban. They got it all in. But here's a real question this morning. <laughs> I read it in USA Today. They got, you know, it said that Coach Pugh and Coach Leg came in at two hundred fifty thousandth on the pay scale. That's probably about it. Huh? <laughs> 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 I, don't know, I may get his name wrong, but the University of Iowa, Kirk. How you say it, Zach? Kirk Friends. 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 What is friends? What is his what is his buyout? Twenty million dollars. Zach, I'm Ten. gonna let you have that. Twenty five million dollars oh, if he lost that. every game this year and they wanted to get oh, shit. Out. Nobody wants to they will never get by that. Twenty five million dollars. That's like if we wanted to get shed of our pastor, we'd have to pay him about fifteen million dollars. Exactly right. Oh, we're talking about our, that church. I was talking about no. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> we don't want to lose yeah. him. USA Today this morning hmm. said that a lone male elk was spotted in the Northern Territory of South Carolina. Ooh, I believe it. When was the last time a elk was spotted in the Northern Territory of South Carolina? 1830. The same day it never has. When you were walking the uh, Appalachian Trail. I don't know, Greg, you, you're 275 years ago. Actually, it was in the early 1700s, basically, but that's close enough. Now we'll move on to some hard questions. Mm. All right. Here we go. Abby, put that on a four shot since we got him added in here this morning. I forgot. To, you know, usually Glory has to have a, her own camera shot, but today, since she ain't here, we'll go against her. Oh, man, give me my shot, man. <laughs> here we go. How, what percent of Americans nowadays, 26% in 2000 were cremated. What is the percentage of Americans that are cremated today? 42. 52. Dusty, you're the closest. 49% of America cremated. Yeah. Nevada has 76% of their people. What is it in Alabama? It's 34. What did you say, Greg? 22. Greg, you all over it today. 24%. What is the okay. average cost of a funeral is $7,045. What is the average cost of a cremation? 400. I don't know where you're getting burned up, but that ain't 500. Huh? About half of that. Half of that is right, yeah. $3,200. All right. Mm -hmm. Only you would know the answer to this next question. You go to Lester and get a dump for 400 <laughs> 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 On penitentiary now, they probably, they probably pay you. Huh? Penitentiary <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, that Wade Oliver and the Penitentiary Mountain Boys. Yeah, I, I think that needs, needs to be. Y'all look like y'all need to be in the penitentiary. <laughs> where, where did Fred say that other place was? Chicken foot. Chicken, chicken foot. foot. Chicken foot. Chicken foot. Chicken foot. Chicken foot. Walking oh, Dead oh, had their premiere this week. Yeah. Yeah. How many? Viewers, did they have 30 10 million, million viewers? 30 million, uh, no, too many, 17 million okay. viewers. But that's still the oh. great. They said it was the best blood Daddy. and gut you could ever see. It'd been had had and there he is, right there, the superstar. Rough. It really was. See, Fred, you are in royalty, presence of royalty here. This morning. <laughs> I'm gonna get his autograph after the show, royalty. yeah. Get it now, yeah. Yeah. all right. This is an easy one. What fast food chain is coming out with a venison sandwich? Burger King. Oh, that's nasty. McDonald's. Oh, Burger Hardy's? King. In and out Burger. Venison. Oh, I guess it's that easy. I thought it was. Carby's. Oh, that's a Who? Arby's. Arby's. Arby's is the right answer. But here's the real so question. The meats. It's yeah. only going to be available for about four weeks. What What comes with it on a thick cut deer topped with what? Uh, onion strings. Fried onions and berry salt. Where is the, it's only going to be in four, five states, deer hunting, Alabama's not one of them. Where is the nearest place, Jeff Pugh, you Let's can see. get a, a, that's right, but what town? 
Clark. 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 Leg time. <laughs> Knoxville. Nashville will be the Nashville. best place you can get a deer sandwich. <laughs> when I'm up there. Megan Kelly at Fox is up for a uh, contract, new contract. Yeah. What is her current salary this year? I tried to hire her, but. 25 million. million. I'll let you have it. 15 million, and she's trying to get 20 million a yeah. year. Yeah. All right. Maybe. Mess up. Well, her and old Newt got into it. Yeah. Right. Did he? Mm -hmm. More Americans, their first top fear is uh, corrupt government. <laughs> That's the correct answer. <laughs> but 42% of Americans said their number two fear, let me go down to the third fear, is 38% of them, uh, the family member, die, family member dying is their other fear. But what's ahead of that? Is no come in at number two. Creepy what is, clowns. What? Creepy clowns. Clowns is the right answer. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, right there. Look. Yeah. No way, come on, Brad. No way. Hang on. Oh, my word. You would not be in a clown after this. I heard that this morning. Come on, Brad. Come on, Brad. Creepy clowns. <laughs> Zach, why are you scared of clowns? I don't like clowns. I used to like bozo with clowns, but now all these folks are scaring people, killing people with clown outfits. They ain't nobody know. got killed by a clown. No, they yet. scared them. Ain't nobody killed them yet. Yeah. Zach, words of wisdom, Mr. Clowny. Well, I need one after that one. Uh -huh. The enemy always fights the hardest when he knows that God has something great in store for you. All right. Man. All right, everybody, who in here has not seen Seinfeld? Come on, come on. What? Never watched. Never watched. You've never watched. You've never watched Seinfeld. I hadn't either. Oh, man. I got what? I've seen I parts of one. Okay, well, that counts. Okay. 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 You've at least seen a little yeah, bit. Yeah, right, you guys are Andy Griffith type people. I'm yeah. a Seinfeld person. Okay. I like I'm Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Here we go. In what year did Seinfeld come out? 1985. 90, 91. 89. 89 is the correct answer. What was the original name of Seinfeld? Jerry. The Jerry Seinfeld Show. <laughs> Jerry what? The Jerry Seinfeld Show. Nope. Jerry Lee Lewis. The Seinfeld, Seinfeld Chronicles. Chronicles. Now, this is out of Broadcasting Magazine. I get one of these every week. It never mentions me, but I get one anyway just to hear what's going on. All right, here we go. Seinfeld was on for how many years? Nine. Eleven. Way to go, Greg, man. You were on fire. You already read this? No. Oh, it sounds like it. All right, here we go. <laughs> Shrinkage, Jerry. Shrinkage. All right, here we go. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. We'll get to that in a minute. Here we go. Seinfeld concluded, all right, it made history. It was the fourth most watched series final in TV history. No. What were the three before it? MASH. MASH, that's right. Uh, Newhart. Wrong. Bonanza. Uh, Gunsmoke. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, no. No. Cheers was one. Oh, oh, cheers. Cheers. And the other one I doubt any of y'all will ever get. But it's your era, mine and your era there. Hogan's Heroes? The Fugitive. Fugitive, yeah. yeah Those were the three before David that. David Jansen. Yeah, man. Jerry, Seinfeld, <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld was making a million per episode when he quit. What did they offer him to keep doing, and he turned it down? 20 million. Per episode. 2.5 million. 5 million. 5 million is the right answer. 5 million. Wow. When they put him into syndication, there was another show that also went into syndication that was supposed to do so much better but never materialized. What was it? Frazier. No, I, I've got that show now. Oh. Um, wasn't Clint, Friends. You know, I've got Friends Frazier. Well. Yeah, Friends did well. Never heard. But it wasn't Friends. It was another one. <laughs> Friends came out like Miami Vice. Tim Allen on Home Improvement. Hmm. Sign language. Here we go. We've got 12 here. Shrinkage, you just said, was Shrinkage. one of them. What would be Shrinkage. another one? Um, People um, that use these words all the time. Yeah. Yada, 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 yada. Yada, yada, yada. Right answer, Joseph. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, master. Shrinkage. Master of my master own domain. domain. Master yeah. of my domain. There you go, right yeah. there. Oh. Man hands. Man hands. <laughs> <laughs> There's shrinkage right there. There's shrinkage. Oh. No soup. No, no soup, soup for you. you. No, no soup, soup for you. No soup Nazi. 
Puffy shirt. What are y'all talking about? Yeah. Puffy Double shirt. deal. Newman. Yeah. Is Newman in there? Close talker. That was on Close the... talker, yeah, yeah. Uh, Man's ear. <laughs> Man the bra. Hey, what was the question? <laughs> you're, like, you're out of this. You're out of these people. These are one liners. What was the Christmas oh. episode? Oh, the Christmas card <laughs> uh, slippage, uh, or no? It was uh, it was uh, um, oh, it was a guy got another name yeah. for it. It was uh, at the metal pole. Yeah. And you, t you, t you oh, said festivus. 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 festivus, festivus for the rest of yeah. us. Yeah. 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 Right. That was yeah, George. He does year out of this one. Yeah, I'm out of that. Yeah. I got to go with Greg as a winner today. Yeah, 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 yes, going on today. We're gonna take a break. Come back and talk with. Fred over here, or Brad Cudd, y'all may know about boating. And then we're going to talk with Dusty, Joseph, Danny. The coach is going to be up right next, though. And then we're going to hear from Wade. Y'all hang on. Welcome back. We have a motley crew in here this morning. So uh, beautiful day, though. So we need to get out and enjoy it. Going to be in the 80s. Very unusual this time of year, but enjoy it while you can. So the lows about 50s, I believe it is. There it is, right there. High of 82 today. So get out and have a good time. Had a good time last night. With, uh, Jamie had a good time. Who would ever thought a boy from Tanner and you go be up here doing a live TV That's program? Exactly right, Athens, right. Alabama. There's hope for all of you. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's going to be a great week, and so continue to enjoy it. So we're having a good time in here, so have a good time out there. And don't time. forget, Dixie got that big sale going on tomorrow, one day only, Shurnarawara. You still ain't close. <laughs> Shurnarawara. Echo, I can say that. Go by there, see if Shurnarawara. Shindawa, there's no R in it, man. <laughs> Shindawa. All right, let's go to sport. And the amazing one <laughs> Bill Matthews, attorney at law. I know he's going to need a napkin with all that honey on that that Carl brought in here this morning. Hang on. Dusty will eat anything at 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Anything sweet, I will. All right. Why do you eat? I'll do the interview here. They're okay. playing your school. They play the Raiders in the pit. What was the score 10 years ago down there when you beat them? 52 to nothing. 58, 58 to nothing. 58, oh, yeah. I got 58 in trouble for that. I Coach Q, yeah. Coach Leg, good morning, boys. Hey, man. This may be y'all's last visit up here to visit me. Unless y'all start coming up this every Thursday, just hang out with us. <laughs> Sorry, Gloria's not here today. All right, I, well, you know something you, they don't know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, they may be up here. All right, Jeff. Yeah, last visit. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. this season. I will be there soon yeah. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> man, you almost had it last week. What happened to you? 16 seconds. We're ahead with two minutes to go, and uh, they got to go 80 yards. Uh, had them in a fourth and 13, got an interference penalty, and then we had them in a fourth and 18, and they converted on a sideline route. Just got kid got lost in coverage. Then they throw up a Hail Mary, and we get beat with 16 seconds. The good oh, thing is God. our kids played very, very hard, and we had the region champion, and uh, Clint will tell you, Coach Legg will tell you, they're the best team in the region, and we had them. Uh, we had played very well, and um, really, really physical up front. And I was real, I was even in, that's probably the first time, you know, that I can say I was proud in a loss because I was proud of our kids. We should have won that football awesome. game. All right, your season ends tonight against Tanner. Right. What we expect out of you guys now? Tanner's pretty good. Well, we're young. We knew that we were going to be young. We didn't really, and you know, at the first of the year as a coach, you sit back and look at your schedule and you think, well, these we probably got a good chance to win. These we got a probably little chance to win. And there's going to be four or five games in there, whether, you know, you're either going to win them in the, in the fourth quarter or lose them in the fourth quarter. We've lost all four. 
So that, that makes or breaks your season. So that's, that's the big thing. You've got to win those games. Those so close what do you do after tonight? Start on next year. We start Monday uh, lifting weights. We start off season. We're, like I said, we've got seven on defense that are going to be back, and six on offense are going to be back. So we start working on next year right so off. So undefeated back. season next year in state championship. Uh, right? Not going to say that, but we are going to try to get better. Uh, hang on, we're going to talk some college football in just a second. Clint, how's your season? I mean, I know it ain't what you wanted, but how do you describe it? Uh, <laughs> my my season. Lots of injuries, lots of kids we count on out. Never had it happen like this before since I've been coaching. But we got to play a lot, we're kind of in the same boat. We play a lot of young kids, and we got you know we've gotten better along the way. But you know it's not turned out like we said. But we've played some real good teams, and our our region was pretty good this year. A lot better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, so what do you how you finish up? We play West Limestone tomorrow night at West Limestone, and they're pretty good. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good too. So yeah. let me let me tell you something too. In years like me, uh, Coach Legg and I have had, you find out a lot of things about your football team. You know, I told them they 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 learned a lot more the other night by losing that game in the end, and they'll learn that they, we would have we would have been happy if we would have won, but winning's easy. You know, when you have a bad season like we have, you find out about the character of your players. You find out about you know, your parents, which, which parents are, are good parents going to stay behind you. And you find out about the overall character of your team. So, you know, you learn lessons from seasons like this. That's what you have to do. You have to use it as a stepping stone to, to, to go into the next season and make sure those things don't happen right. again. But you learn about what players you can depend on. You agree with everything he says? Totally. I know you ain't going to say no. Totally. I really agree. So, how would you describe your season? What I mean, it just. I mean, it's disappointing because nobody. I mean, I hate losing, but like you said, man, we got a lot of experience. We had seven seniors, and you know, and, and one of those guys is a punter, so he plays when we punt. So, we got a lot of young dudes, but like I said, our region's tough, and us in that league, it's a, it's a it's a tough deal. But we we've got we've got a little bit is it better. That, it's just hard to win at Ardmore, isn't it? You don't have a No, it's, it's not hard to win at Ardmore. It's hard to win 5A football at Ardmore. Okay. It's tough for each. Real tough. Yeah. All right, let's switch gears. Hey, can I say this before I go? Yeah. Today's my oldest daughter's birthday. I better tell her happy birthday. Yeah, Keep happy birthday, Lily. Hey, I want to say, you guys, thanks for coming up for all these years. <laughs> I mean, we'll be back next year, and you guys will be uh, rolling along here. Let's talk a little Alabama football. Uh, LSU guy done called Alabama out and oh, said, yeah. we're going to, do you see that? Hang on, yeah. I sent that to you. Yeah. We're going to, master, we're going to take over. You know, that's like getting into there a fight. There. You know you're Dominate. fixing to fight a guy that's been in prison eight times for killing somebody, <laughs> and you call him and go, buddy, I'm going to be there, I'm going to whoop you. That's pretty <laughs> yeah. dumb, you know. Uh, yeah, best thing to do is let let the sleeping bear lie. That's good you for Alabama. What do you two stick? guys see, all three of you, because we're Alabama fans, what do y'all see for the rest of the season for Alabama? You know, they're going to have to play. I think they will have to play bad yeah. to get upset. And that's even including Auburn. I think right now, you know, when a guy gets put on the hot seat and he knows his job's on the line, it's amazing how hard yeah. they start working. Mm -hmm. And you can tell that that's what's happened at Auburn. So that's yeah. going to be a game right there that's going to be – it's going to be a war. But uh, I'm telling you, I – uh, I really don't know, uh, you know, and Clemson last year really, really surprised me in the bowl game. So uh, I know they've got talent coming back, but I don't know in, in the SEC if anybody's going to be able to. So the only way you think we're going to get beat is if we beat ourselves. Uh, I think so. Me too. Clint? Yeah, I, I agree with that. I mean, I, but, but, you know, it's it's a set. I mean, everybody, the media, you can't watch Vern Lundquist and Gary Daniels and everybody's against them, Alabama. I don't like watching them at all. I really just turn the volume down and watch them. <laughs> the setup is this. Let me ask you this. CBS has had two thirty games all year. Uh, you know what time Alabama plays to give the, to give a shut up in the guys in their time. Uh, get liquor up, get get liquor up. Maybe get a chance to beat Alabama. <laughs> so, but it ain't gonna happen. I'm just saying. Is Jonathan Allen the best defensive player in the nation? He's good. I don't know. There's a lot. He's yes. Good. That leg he made when he came over the top the other day he's had to be. Boy. He's yes. a legitimate Heisman. Oh, yeah. yeah. He Did you good. see, have you seen the video of him taking their tackle, a 345-pound oh, tackle? Damn. He threw I him. I seen that. Grabbed yeah. him, with, threw him on the ground, slung him on the ground like a dish towel. He sure did. You think about how strong you got to be to do that. All right, how's Brick doing? 
He's doing good. He's starting to throw on flat, so he's going. We think he's going to be ready for he's baseball. Play baseball. Yes. Anyway, guys, again, thank y'all for coming up here. Never missing a week for us. Thank y'all and happy birthday to a little girl. And we'll see y'all. We'll see you at church Sunday. And yes, sir. Hey, man, you better get that cable fixed. Cause my mom is getting really <laughs> mad. At I'm working on it. Happy <laughs> birthday, Lily. Don't call me. Call I love Gloria. you more than your daddy. Well, take a break. Thank you again, coaches. Y'all were awesome. Yeah. Uh, y'all, awesome. hang on. See, I'm getting cold. Man. And nobody's going to have such dignitaries in here from out yeah. of the country. Who is this, Dusty? This is Steve Mann. He and his wife, Ann, are they run multi-ministries in South Africa, doing a great job there. And we uh, good friends of Lindsey Lane. We partner with them, and so we appreciate him being here for our GIC week. Amen. Uh, so all of our missionaries are coming in. So, Steve, welcome to Alabama again. Thank you so much. Good morning. Good morning, good morning sir. Carlos, how are you, sir? I'm Roll wonderful. Tight. I've been babysitting them. He's been babysitting me. <laughs> We're just a bunch of babies. But well, y'all hang on for a second. Let a me blessing. talk to our circuit court clerk here about yeah. voting. When is the last day to get an absentee vote in? November the 3rd. That is... Well, no, you, to get it in would be election day okay, by noon. Okay, but to get one from you. November 3rd. And that's next week. Yes, sir. Thursday, Friday. All right, now you already had, I said in the paper, you already had over 1,200. Yeah, I'm, at, I'm over 1,400 today. Four, is yesterday. that a lot? Uh, probably right in line with what's been going on. The last presidential election, there was about 1,800 absentee votes cast. But people so. still got a week to get all this stuff in. Yeah, and... I've been really pushing it. So. Anything, this is your first presidential election. Yes, sir. Now, this is going to be the biggest election I guess you've been involved with. What can we expect in Limestone County? Are you going to have the th deal at the event center, or where are you going to be doing everything? Uh, I'm sure Judge uh, Charles Woodruff, okay. the probate judge, I'm sure it'll be at the event center okay. because it'll be a big... Is there anything? Can you take selfies when you vote this? I know Justin Timberlake, <laughs> they thought about arresting him in Memphis because he took a selfie when he voted. The law in Alabama says that you're not supposed to take a picture. It's supposed to be a secret when people vote. They're supposed to have privacy. I did notice that Judge Kane, the probate judge in Morgan County, said that it was okay to take selfies as long as you didn't have other people in the photo. Okay. Uh, yeah. I've had people to take photos uh, with their children, maybe their first vote cast or something, but away from people voting so there's no other people in the photo. Uh, what can, any changes or anything for this election? Probably the biggest thing right now. I think people need to study the amendments. There's 14 amendments on the ballot, and if we have a website, Judge Woodruff, the probate judge, they did a real good job with it. Uh, VoteLimestone.com, and you can go on there and read the plain language explanation from the Fair Ballot Commission about those amendments. It breaks it down. Basically, to if you vote yes, okay. this is going to happen, or if you vote no, this I know, is like one happen. of them is Pickens County. I saw it on one of the Huntsville stations. It, we, we all get to vote statewide, but it has absolutely nothing to do with us. But it just affects that one county. I hear a lot, a lot of people when they're in there voting with me, uh, they they'll tell me they'll say, "I'm not voting for that because that doesn't affect Limestone County." And a lot of people just choose not to vote for it if it's not our county. Where is your office? I'm located on the third floor of the water department building on Jefferson and uh, Forest Street, 520. But you're not in the courthouse yet. No, they're saying we'll get to go back there maybe next month. Okay, that'd be awesome. Yes. So people can come by, pick that absentee ballot up. It's best just to vote while they're in the office. Yeah, that way they don't have to send it yeah. in. Yeah. That, the problem right now is I'm starting to get phone calls from people saying, you know, my child's in college in Virginia or wherever. Can you mail them an application? <laughs> well, to mail them an application, then mail it back, me mail them the ballot, and then mail it back, I just don't know if we're going to have enough time for that. Uh, so you get prepared for a big election in two weeks. Yes, yes. Right. And people can vote straight ticket if they're voting for Christie and running against Brian Jones. Straight ticket. And then still come down, Democrat or Republican, and vote for Yes, Her. they could vote for whoever. Yes, sir. Okay. All, right. All right. Carlos, so he's sir. hanging out with you? Yes. Um, and it has been an absolute disaster. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to send him home. No, just kidding, brother. <laughs> Thank it, you. It has been, uh, uh, words can't express what kind of a gentleman this is. But what have you learned from having someone like him with you, Steve, with you? Well, all of my questions that I had about South Africa, 
you know, that we think that we know because of what the media says, he straightened that all out. And tell us, how many times have you been, how long have you been affiliated with Dusty and Lindsey Lane Baptist Church? Uh, well, Multi Ministries has been affiliated about 15, 16 years at mm -hmm. least. Um, I've been involved uh, as executive director with Multi Ministries for the last four years, and it's been a wonderful privilege, and it's really great to be back here. Uh, how do you like Athens, Alabama? Athens, a great place. Uh, somebody said to me, where are you going? I said, Athens. I said, we never heard of it. <laughs> <laughs> are you an Alabama football fan? Uh, football, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm a fan of your football because if I'm not in this neck of the woods, I'm going to get into trouble. <coughs> Roll tide. Uh, Roll tide. We, we play rugby Roll back tide. home. <laughs> that, ain't <laughs> real, that, ain't a, that ain't a real sport. <laughs> <laughs> well, not a real what's your favorite sport? car? Uh, favorite car's got a Mustang. Hey, that's how we got the Mustang man in here. Beautiful, beautiful Mustang. You got a, what's your favorite team? You say Roll Tide? Yeah. <laughs> roll Tide. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. That's the right answer. Well, yeah. Now, what are, what are you doing as you stay here for this week? What are some of the stuff you're, you're doing? Part of the things, being with Lindsay Lane, uh, just sharing in the GIC, we are meeting the various groups, people. have got small groups meeting. It's a wonderful way of getting to know the community, getting to know what's going on, getting to learn a bit about your football and, and the teams that, that excite you guys. That's been really great. But in terms of, of ministry, wonderful opportunities just to share what the Lord Jesus Christ is doing in, in Southern Africa. At this time, people are getting saved. People are awesome. uh, being, being discipled. And we are excited to come and share a little bit about what we're doing awesome. uh, in Southern What's Africa. What's the biggest change from where you're from to where we, we are right now? Well, the biggest I, difference. I, I guess uh, what I see here, uh, very well organized and run communities. Um, when just uh, looking at the interview you had with uh, just your whole systems, we got, we got I think we're making a lot of progress in, in South Africa, um, but it's lovely to see things work well. And Do you some have TV programs like this one over there? I was just saying to Carlos, no, we don't have much. Ah, there well. you go. We don't have community programs. Um, it's all uh, really uh, national national kind of TV. So uh, this is really great. Well, I think I'm going to probably run into you again at lunch today, so I'll have Wonderful. my uh, bride with me, I guess, if she's yeah. up by then. <laughs> anyway, thank you for coming up. I'll see you later. I'll see you. you. I know Sunday at church. Yeah. Probably see you today at lunch. Yeah. All of them are going to be there today at lunch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. We'll Wonderful. talk more in just a moment. Joseph, Danny coming up next. Thank you, Fred. Yes, sir. Y'all hang on. Let's come out Joseph. And now, Cruise In All Star Plumbing. If y'all ain't ever used them, y'all need to. They are absolutely incredible. Eddie Pruitt Ford, Hartsell, Alabama. He is too, and so is Brad Stone. Me and Danny will be at Brad's tomorrow signing autographs down that way. Here's Joseph with a very quick Cruise In report. Not a whole lot going on. Thank you, on. Joseph. Not many shows. <laughs> I said two or three to Brad, but yeah, it's kind of winding down. Can't get it over on Jamie. Uh, Piedmont uh, Healthcare Show there, that was from uh, two to five. And uh, I think there was one more. Thank you, Joseph. Decatur, uh, that's uh, West Mead Baptist Church. Uh, there's the times on that one. That one's a Sunday evening cruise in, so. Uh, Anyway, and then there's one in Spring Hill, Tennessee. Hey, so. what's your Sunday school class doing this week? You know, I got to get with Sean because I so am. So you don't actually, even know? No, I don't. But I'm actually free. I'm open Saturday. You can go. So okay. whatever we're doing, you can go with us, Friday. I'm going to get the help this year. We hey, always have a we're car going show. Going to Henry White's. We're going to be dealing yes. over there. Love We did it last year. This year, we're going down to Henry's house, helping him with everything. Uh, down on yeah. Hines Street. What time y'all going? Uh, we're going to be there at 10 o'clock. The, the, all the adults get there and we help them with lunch, hay rides, and basketball. Neil's going to be singing and oh, face my. painting. Anything else we got yeah. going on, Danny? I picked up another couple of jobs. I got a movie with INSP Network coming up. Uh, I'll be gone about two weeks next month, but um, yeah, good one. Uh, I'll just say this it's, it's, uh, it's star studded. I can tell you later about who's in it, but uh, mm. all right, Dusty. Anything else we need to know about Lindsey Lane this weekend? No, just be there this coming Sunday, nine o'clock. Net groups, ten thirty. GIC. Meet our missionaries. I'm leaving. Flags. I'm going over to talk to Wade. Be at Lindsey Lane this weekend. They got a special narrator coming yeah, you need in. To come by. He's going to he gonna do such an awesome job. He'll probably get a full time job down at Lindsey Lane. <laughs> Unless Church. he messes up some of those names, he won't. We, we might even turn his mic. On. He's been studying. <laughs>
Wade, how can people find you? Uh, on Facebook, Wade Oliver's Music, uh, YouTube, iTunes, and uh, Reverb Nation. Wade Oliver from Penitentiary Mountain in Lawrence County, Alabama. You ready? I'm ready. He ain't wearing his Bama hat no more. He's going to show off his head full of hair. But here he is right now, Mr. Wade Oliver. So he writes some good lyrics. She's in angel and boots and days of dudes. She likes mud riding horses too. She knows how to cook and likes Jim Bean. Used to be the star on a softball team. Everybody staring when she walking by. Swinging them hips with a gleam in her eyes. She's got a smile that'll drive you wild. Beats all you ever seen by a country mile. Country girls, blow my mind. Country girls, one of a kind. Their booty blue jean ribbons and curls ain't nothing in the world like a country girl. <laughs> Yeehaw! <laughs> <laughs> Out on the dance floor, looking just right in her hat and her jeans. It's so fine. When they turn the lights down low, she grab a country boy and dance real slow. You better make sure that you treat her right. She ain't something to play with for just one night. She may be a nine law, but she's got class. And if you treat her wrong, you get the boot real fast. <laughs> country girls, blow my mind, country girls. <laughs> Brown, green, hazel, or eyes blue, blondes and brunettes and red heads too. All shapes, sides, short, tall, talking to you with that southern draw. My blood starts boiling and my heart starts to race. My mind goes wandering all over the place. A lot of pretty women all over the world. They just don't compare with a country girl. Country girl, blow my mind. Country girl, one of a kind. Their 